it's the middle of the day and the pet store is closed, which is unfortunately unacceptable because I have a baby dog to feed. I'm sure the owner of the pet store won't mind if I just sneak inside, grab the food that I need. I'm gonna leave cash on the counter. I do wonder why they're closed in the middle of the day. Okay, might have spotted the problem. It now appears that the pet store is closed because some of the animals have become ginormous. In fact, that dog's butt looks so big it was blocking the entire entrance. Makes a little bit more sense to me now why the pet store is closed, but that's fine. I'm just gonna have a look through here, see if I can't find the pet food I need for my baby dog. It is quite messy in here, a lot more vomit on the floor than I thought there would be. I might just go through the vent. The vents are usually nice and clean. Oh yeah, that's a squeaky clean vent. Let's see where the stock room is. When you think about it, I'm actually doing the owner of the pet store a bit of a favor here. They'll still get a little business today, even though they're closed. And okay, this is not quite what I was expecting. I thought I was going for the stock room and there's a skull on the floor, which is strange. I've been to a lot of pet stores and they don't usually have skulls on the floor, so that's quite unexpected, but I'm just gonna ignore that for now because I really need my bag of dog food. Oh, hello, sir. So sorry to interrupt, I know you're closed today. I just need to pick up one thing and okay, you're chasing me. You're chasing me out of the store. Okay, I get it. I know I shouldn't be in here, but I'm dog sitting and I just need to grab one bag of puppy food and oh my gosh. All right then. So I'm getting the feeling that the owner of the pet store is not exactly happy to see me. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do because I do need the dog food. Okay, get to the vent. I will get to the vent, but how could you deny this little tiny face? Okay, maybe you can help me. If you can find any dog-friendly food emojis, just leave them in the comments section. I'll feed those to Dagger now and figure out this whole dog food situation later because I think that I need to get out of here. The pet store owner does not seem very friendly and I do not want to be chased by a dachshund with wheels in a cone. I already find sausage dogs kind of intimidating. They can be very snappy. I guess I have to focus my efforts on escaping the pet store, but if I see any bags of puppy food, I'm probably gonna have to pick them up. Hmm, don't think this is the right room though. This seems to be the grooming area. I think I've been oofed by doggy perfume. Hmm, I don't know if this is some sort of cleaning product that they use to make the doggies smell nice and fresh, like fresh laundry. It does appear to be dangerous to humans, very dangerous. Really wish they wouldn't spray me with the grooming products. I'm gonna start thinking that I might stink. Maybe I do stink. Maybe everybody knows it except for me. Maybe everywhere I go, there's stink lines coming off me and people are like, oh, someone spray her with some doggy air freshener if you get a chance. A bit of a worrying thought, but we've got more important things to deal with right now, like giant rolling dog toys that could crush us. It is pretty surprising how many booby traps they've set up in the pet store. Like if I was running a pet store, I think I would probably have zero booby traps. It just doesn't really seem that necessary. Although now I say that, I do realize that I am breaking in. Oh, should I explode the wall? A small piece of revenge for scaring me. Oh wow, that was quite dramatic. Probably not going to be on the good side of the pet store owner now that I have exploded a wall. I do need to acknowledge my role in this conflict and probably it began when I decided to break into a closed pet store and do a little bit of unsolicited demolition work. So I'm part of the problem too. I'm no angel. In my defense though, I am looking after the cutest, tiniest dog in the entire world and if Dagger wants his special brand of puppy food, then whoops am I to deny him. All right, that one hurt. These fans look really, really rusty. Once the pet store owner deals with the whole dog butt blocking the front door situation, I'm gonna suggest that they do this next because it, it all looks quite dangerous. It is good to look for the positives though and I am delighted by the number of vents that I get to travel through. You know that I love a vent. Okay, come on stock room. This is not a stock room, but oh my gosh, look, dog food. Okay, I'm gonna take this bowl with me, just pop that in my piggy backpack and this one. Incredible work. Now all I have to do is escape through the mouth of a cobra. That's easy enough. I'm sure that nothing bad will happen while I traverse the digestive system of a venomous snake. Oh, we're getting pooped by a snake already. Okay, that was actually surprisingly easy. <laughs> I actually saw a venomous snake in the wild for the first time recently when I was down in Tasmania. If you've ever seen a snake in real life, put a snake emoji in the comment section. And if you have seen a snake, I bet everybody is curious whether it was a pet snake or a wild snake. So let us know in the comment section when you leave your little snakey. Another note for the owner, it's time to get these stairs fixed. I am very agile, but they are dangerous. Oh my gosh, a zip line. I love zip lining to safety. It's actually one of my favorite ways to escape. To the neighboring building where I hope I will be safe. Where am I? What is this? It looks like somebody's house. Oh my gosh, now I'm doing more break and enters. I gotta get out of here. Build your way across. All right, I wanna build my way to safety. 
I got a lot of comments on my Barry's prison video asking what I did to end up in jail. Probably it's all the breaking and entering I keep doing. But like I said, I had to get that puppy food, which I think is actually a very compelling defense, and I will bring it up when I finally get my day in court. Don't know how well that'll go down unless I go to court and my lawyer's a dog. We look at the jury. They're all dogs. The judge comes in. Oh my gosh, they're a dog. Judge Patches says, would you like to approach the bench? And I'm like, yes, your honor. And can I offer you a piece of chicken on this fine morning? See, I know the secret, and that's that Judge Patches absolutely loves chicken. I've got this case in the bag. I am slightly concerned about this dog coming up, though. Is that that dog whose bum is stuck in the front door? Huh. All right. Well, the arrows are pointing directly to his <coughs> mouth, so I think we know what that means. There's only one way out, and oh, no, we fall. Oh, oh, where do we go? Back in my getting eaten era. At least we know this dog's butt was sticking out the front door, so if I can escape the inside of this dog, I think we might be able to get outside. I like how there's these just like random double helixes, like the dog's DNA is located inside of its stomach, and just like piles of what I assume are meant to be red blood cells, but they're not looking super healthy. Oops, and they're dangerous. Red blood cells are supposed to be red. It's like right there in the name. I've never heard of a yellow blood cell before or a green blood cell. And okay, this looks like a disease. These might be koosh balls or they might be viruses. It is hard to tell. Either way, I am worried about the fact that I have found them inside of this dog. Ew, what's this? Oh no. Stinky turds and piles of vomit. This is disgusting and flies. Oh my gosh, let me out. There's nothing that could possibly be worse than... Okay, yep. That's worse. Please no one mentioned what happened here today. I'm gonna deny it. If anyone's like, I heard you fell in like a giant pile of doo-doo, I'll be like, I don't know where you heard that actually. That's, that's straight lies. I like how it says run home as if I need any encouragement or direction whatsoever after what has just happened to me. Where else would I go but home? Directly to the shower. I need to get in the bath immediately. I need to scrub and scrub and scrub until I forget. Forget what's happened. I am so desperate for a shower, I am literally on fire. The Golden Gates, it's the Golden Gates of safety. My friends, we have done it. I've got the puppy food. We are so close to a bath, and please just don't look at my stink lines. Ignore the stink lines.